On the border between the provinces of Ciudad Real and Albacete, and with the Sierra de Alcaraz as a backdrop, the wide plain of Castile comes to an end in El Palomar. 3,000 hectares of varied vegetation, combining extensions of cereal and holly oak, with the wilder landscape of Kermes and Pyrenean oak, the ideal habitat for the great diversity of species occupying it. El Palomar is a small-scale replica of the region, with gullies and sharp inclines, alternating with spacious areas where natural pools are fed by the rains brought by the autumn. And from high up, the Sierra de Piedra Vista protects these valleys so rich in life. Given the circumstances and a favorable climate throughout the year, El Palomar today houses an enviable fauna. Rabbits, hares, pigeons, turtle doves and ducks live side by side without any difficulty with roe and fallow deer, goats and mouflon. Here there is space for everyone because this space is cared for and managed so that each has its territory and its food. And the creator of all this is its owner, Samuel Flores, who has set the standard of his family tradition at a very high level. This paradise of the region of La Mancha was acquired by his forebears in 1902, who introduced deer somewhat more than 50 years ago, and later on, in 1968, introduced the first mouflon and the Spanish goat. Today, Samuel has combined current theory and practice and placed it at the service of an extraordinary interest that has converted El Palomar into one of the most important hunting estates in Europe. We are about two weeks before the start of spring. Now is an extremely important time for the partridge, since the females will have come into heat a few days ago. The heat of the partridge, the partridges pair off and thus begin their reproductive cycle. The partridges are now feeding in the fields on a diet of seeds and sprouting grass. But it's not the best moment for the fields to offer the greatest amount of food possible. So we help them with special feeding troughs distributed throughout the estate. Partridge food so that the hens can be as complete as possible and in the best condition for reproduction. As part of our management, we carry out control in relation to some predators so that we can control, for example, the number of crows. We have some special selective cages where the magpie population is basically controlled thanks to them. One of the hundreds of tasks of the gamekeepers in El Palomar is to monitor the cages each day in order to keep the crow population balanced in years in which their numbers suddenly soar.
We also have other predators, and I'm very proud to tell you that the ones that we admire a lot and take special care over on this estate are fundamentally the golden eagle and the eagle owl, of which there are important populations here. Some weeks ago, the close season started in Castilla-La Mancha. The partridges had done well in the flushing, yet nevertheless our red leg was still awaiting a group of hunters who had not yet appeared on the scene. At this time, taking advantage of the partridge being on heat, a tremendously popular hunt has been held since time immemorial, which is decoy hunting. We have invited a great bullfighter, a local man and much loved, known as Damaso González, a great lover of this type of hunting, in order to occupy one of the posts in accordance with this type of hunting.
¿Qué tal? Pues total nervioso como cuando tiene un toro de 600 kilos delante. O más. O más, ¿eh? <risa> Bueno, sí, pues nada, verdad. nos vamos que esta tarde te llevo el pájaro. Venga, pues vámonos. Nos vamos que esta tarde tenemos que hacer otro. Esta Venga. tarde vamos a ver si pruebo un vamos pollo. Vamos a ir a un, a un sitio un, muy bueno. Un pollo nuevo. Sí. A ver, un pollito. Este que he puesto de segunda. Ajá. Y es un pájaro que, que es la primera vez que lo saco. Sí, sí. Y vamos, yo pienso que va a ser un, un pájaro bueno, sí, ¿no? Sí. Si no, esta mañana cantamos un poquito de mayor. Sí. Yo los pájaros para... One of the unmistakable signs that spring has arrived in the countryside is the skin left by the deer, when its antlers are covered with that velvet which allows you to discern the branching of those incredible animals in this area, the immediate consequence of the good food available here. In the meantime, the gamekeepers keep an eye on a certain percentage of the nests. The aim is to know how many of them are going to be abandoned by the partridge, those that are not, those that are preyed upon, or those that can be saved. It's the closest that we get to statistics, and the results will give us a broad view of what is happening in the rest of the estate. The mating of the partridges four months earlier means that the estate is now full of latent life. Hundreds of nestlings distributed around El Palomar. The sun now resists abandoning the day, just as the partridges do with their nests. For somewhat more than three weeks, the mother will be sitting on her clutch, knowing that some of them won't be coming out of the shell. Various opportunistic predators are prowling round the area, and to stop them, the red leg eats without getting up from her nest. Only when the food has disappeared from her surroundings, will she go to the nearest feeding troughs. The risk has to be minimized as much as possible, though this is not always achieved. We're in spring summer. The heat is building up and the moment has come for hatching and the partridge nests. This is a lovely time in the countryside. The perseverance of the mother over the last 22 or 24 days has meant that life bursts out and spreads through the countryside. Once the chicks have appeared, the moment has arrived to take special care of the partridges so that they raise their young as best as possible. This work basically consists of making sure that they do not lack food, which they have in abundance in the countryside, of course, since the spring has been wet and there are a large number of insects contributing proteins to the diet, which is very important for the chicks. 
But we must also help them by distributing feeding troughs throughout the estate and especially close to the places where the chicks are to be found. But as I said at the beginning, the heat is building up and the feeding troughs on their own are not sufficient. Drinking troughs are also fundamental and they have to be checked day after day so that the birds do not lack water at any moment. the chicks have started to take their first steps in life. They have managed to overcome the heat and possible illnesses of their initial phases. The feeding and drinking troughs help a great deal in their growth, though still some fail to reach the adult stage. And here, underneath this lovely hundred-year-old ash, I would like to tell you that not everything in the countryside is satisfaction. Although it is true that the happiness we have each time we see a nest full of eggs, a hen ready to lay, or a large brood, it's no less true that it's desperate and sad to see so many nests destroyed by predators, especially by boars, foxes, and crows. And so we were able to confirm these two chicks were the only survivors of this brood of partridges that we recorded when they were just two weeks old. So, the autumn has arrived. The hills of El Palomar are regaled in their splendor, full of life, and the rutting season has arrived. We take advantage of this time to carry out a selective culling of all the game, taking out those deer that we think are not going to amount to much in their lives, or also for taking advantage of them to achieve trophies when they are in their prime, which is approximately between 10 and 11 years. And we take advantage to bring them down then. The partridges, on the other hand, form into flocks. They are now almost ready, almost at the point of starting to be hunted. It's a fantastic moment because it's the moment at which hunting starts in El Palomar, both for big game and for little. The rutting commences, the most important time of year for the kings of Palomar. And with the hunting of the partridges and with their trophies, the moment has arrived for the queens of El Palomar, who, as we all know, is the red-legged partridge. The feeding and drinking troughs continue to perform their function at this time of year. Though by the middle of autumn, the ground gets wet and the birds abandon the troughs and head off towards natural foods. With the appearance of the first rains in autumn, the wind blows over the stubble and fresh green starts to appear in the fields. 
These shoots are an extraordinary food source that strengthen the partridges in particular. It's very important to wait and not to hunt them until this green appears. Since the partridges gain a great deal in quality when they start to feed on those shoots. Yet this does not mean that we don't carry on looking after the raising of the partridges and putting food in the troughs, as well as filling up the water troughs, though most of the partridges are not going to drink from them, since they have puddles and natural watering places where they can find all the water they need. But moreover, it must not be forgotten that the partridges also have to defend themselves against certain avian predators that always exist on the estate, especially here in El Palomar. And the partridge does this by building up more muscle, becoming tougher and braver for when the moment of flushing comes. This year we're opening the hunting season with a group of absolutely enthusiastic hunters of the red-legged partridge in Spain, Germans, who are celebrating 20 unbroken years of coming to El Palomar for two consecutive days of hunting. And partridge flushing arrives in El Palomar. Samuel, the father, has handed over the responsibility to his son, Samuel, who, together with the estate manager, José Cañones, Francisco José, and gamekeepers José Ángel and Juan Ramón, prepare the annual flushing. It is decisive to make a correct choice of the passing places, to study the lines of the posts and organize the event. There is a lot of personnel who have to be moved and coordinated well so that everything goes off without any problems. So the moment now arrives for forming the lines of posts in order to organize the flashes. It's fundamental to study them to the utmost and to try to improve them each year. They have to be done in the gullies, of course, in places where the land is rougher, so that the partridges fly better and high when the moment comes for the flushing. Each season, El Palomar prepares several of these hunts. Its clients are mostly foreigners, hunters dazzled by our red light and by this way of hunting. Estos grupos 
These groups that come here to hunt in El Palomar provide a very important source of income for the neighboring villages we have around here. And when the moment of the hunt arrives, they are aided here in the home by around eight or ten service people for the hunt. Waiters, women who look after the house and the rooms, etc. But also when it comes to the moment of the flushing. If there are groups of approximately eight or ten hunters, each hunter has an assistant and a loader, which makes 20 or 25 people who are here each day working, not to mention the flushers. This is rough ground with a lot of scrub, not at all easy to flush, not at all easy to make the cartridges pass through the firing lines. And then a greater number of flushes than normal is required, to the point where there are 30 people flushing each day, plus vehicle drivers, people to collect the partridges, etc. All this means that each day's hunt generates between approximately 60 and 70 work days on account of the hunting. It's been hard work, long and difficult, but we would not have achieved our objectives without the collaboration of the entire team, especially the El Palomar gamekeepers, the managers, in short, the people in charge of looking after the game in El Palomar. If there has been a lot of sacrifice and hard work on the way, today there is happiness and satisfaction for a job well done. Once again this season, the partridges of El Palomar have added the golden touch which all queens carry with them. So in El Palomar, activity does not end because the period of the partridge ends. A new and very important facet is also starting, that of the rearing of bulls. For in a few months' time, the bullfighting season will be opening. Thank you.